every Saturday we highlight a local company together with our partners at Indiana Grown. This morning we have Dr. Jared Dorch with Soulful Gardens here. Good morning. Thank you for being morning. here. Thank you. Uh, so you have such a unique business. Kind of explain it for everybody out there. It's very mission driven. So one of the things we found out is it's just more it's more fresh to come from the home than it is to even come from the farmer's market. So we can get people to start growing their own food in their own homes. Um, it becomes a whole new experience for them and a whole new experience for our community. And because of uh, the fact that sometimes it's a little difficult to get started, we found a way to make it so that individuals have not only an easy way to get started, but also are very successful by building the boxes on their property, bringing the soil in, um, and also providing them with the plants that they need. And then during the course of the summer, making sure that we give them soulful advising and giving them an opportunity to speak to us and talk to us and work with us to make sure that they're successful. You're really with people every step of the way here in what can be an intimidating, intimidating process, um, especially young people you're working with. How are you doing that? And one of the main things we do is to try to teach them um, the, the, the importance of knowing where their food comes from, of eating during the season where the food actually comes from, and just having a better understanding overall of how nature works and how it works with us. How did you get into this? I, my, my father always had a garden, and mm -hmm. um, I was doing my dissertation, and I got to be a little bit older and not feeling as well. And I started working in the garden, and I found it to be very therapeutic, not just uh, health-wise, which it did help a lot, but also just mentally and just holistically I felt better going outside, uh, seeing something grow from a seed to a beautiful plant to actually eating something from that, waking up in the morning and eating from the garden. It just was a really great experience for me overall. And I wanted to help bring that experience to other people. How did you find, you started this before the pandemic, but um, and we're looking at some of the video there of what you bring and do, but how did you find that this is actually was such a need during the pandemic and has been so after. I think people didn't understand just how important uh, the food system is and that anytime there was a problem in it, how quickly it could impact us. Um, and also there was an opportunity for people to actually build community around these gardens outside to speak, to talk, because we were you know, stuck inside. You couldn't really mm -hmm. communicate with a lot of individuals, and especially for the young people that were at home. Um, and their parents, they had an opportunity to go out and do something physical, do something active, and also do something where they got an opportunity to learn and subsidize not only their nutrition, but their education. We're looking at some of the boxes. Explain what people get there when they get the box. Uh, normally what happens is, and depending on um, some things like mobility and your ability to, you know, some people can't bend over as far as others. So we, we usually come with a four by four box, so usually a foot to two feet um, above ground. Uh, depending on if you have needs, we can go higher. And then in that box, we put in uh, all natural soil grow mix, which is a mix of, of some of the best soil you can use. And we also add uh, the vegetable plants yeah. from starts that we get locally. And then after that, you know, it takes time. We provide uh, instruction on how to get to keep them to get to root, how to get them growing, how to keep them growing. Then as time passes, how to uh, stake them, how to keep them uh, from falling over, how to treat them over the heat part of the summer. So we just try to make sure that we uh, have a successful uh, a produce for our customers as possible. And quick before we go, uh, over the summer you're going to be at some events, some future yes, events. Yes, I'm really excited. I'm going to be partnering with the Indianapolis Public Library. I'll be at the Garfield Park branch, the East 38th Street branch, the North branch, the Wayne branch, and the Warren branch, and I'll be discussing uh, some topics like starting seeds, um, how to plant and to prune and keep tomatoes and some basic gardening tips that I'll be providing for them. Amazing. And if people want to get in contact with you or find out more information, we actually have a web story up on our website, wishtv.com right now. Grab your phone. You can scan that QR code that's up on your screen. That will take you right to this story in the, as seen on Wish TV. 